Hello everyone, welcome to the itvideos.com and I'm your host Aftab Kashif Sayed and in this quick little video we are going to learn how we can create a simple web app in our Azure portal. So here I am in my Azure home and um, so we want to do what we want to do is create a resource so we can either click on the plus button right here that says create a resource or we can click on this three show portal menu and choose the option from or choose the first option from here or create uh, or select on the create a resource option from here so um, I would just like to click on the button that is available to me here so let me just click on the create a resource and what we have here is so many options shown to us and what we are interested here is in the popular section we have the web app and under the popular section we have the web app option you can either click on this or if you scroll down in the azure marketplace and look for the web and here we have that web app option available to us as well so we can use this we can click on the web app either way so let's go ahead and click on the web app option and so this is my subscription that i'm using and here i am presented with an option to either create a resource or select one already present there so i'm going to click on create a resource and the resource and the proper way of creating a resource group is you say resource you the the right way of creating a resource and the right the right way of creating a resource is by the right way of creating a resource group is by and the right way of creating a resource group is by pricks and the right way of creating a resource group is by prefixing with the letter R J dash that denotes that this is a resource group and here you specify the actual name of the resource group so we call it my web app followed by the subscription name so I just call it MSDN so just by looking at this name tells me that this is actually a resource group the name of the resource group and what subscription this belongs to so you could be having a test subscription you could be having uh, you know ABC subscription so you don't have to worry about finding out just by looking at this one name you can tell this is uh, what kind of resource this is so it looks like we are good with it uh, I'm going to click on OK so that's our resource group and the word new tells me that this is a new resource group as opposed to the existing one and now we have to choose the web app name so i'm just gonna say it videos looks like this is available so the name the url is going to be the it videos let me just say the it videos dot azure websites dot net okay and here and the next one is the publish I'm just going to leave the default option as the code and then the runtime stack so here we have got multiple options ASP.NET or so ASP.NET or Java so right now we are going to be using the ASP.NET Core 3.1 as the latest .NET Core LTS is the long term support that's what that means LTS is the long term support that's what it means so I'm going to select the latest one, ASP.NET Core 3.1 LTS is the long term support. I'm going to select that. And this is the Windows operating system. The region I'm going to select the one that is nearest to me. So I live in Australia here. So Central US is not too close to me. So I'm going to select Australia, Australia Southeast. I'm you know this is where I live. And this happens to be close to where I am. And I'm going to select the windows panel i'm going to leave it as this i'm going to click on the review plus create and this will give me a page where i can review my 
choices that is my subscription my resource group name the name of the app and what runtime stack is so this is looking good to me so i'm going to click on the create button it's going to go ahead and uh, create it i'm going to pause the video while it does okay looks like it's all looking looks like it's all looking good so it says my deployment is underway so it might take maybe about a minute or so not even that all right looks like things are progressing okay all right so it tells me that the deployment was successful and the resource was created so i can click on the go resource and this app was created and that is the name of my app and this app is in this resource group my my web app resource group so if i click on that resource group it tells me all the resources that are sitting inside of it tells me all the resources that are sitting inside so it tells me all the resource group that are sitting inside this so there's one app service there's the apps inside there's all added for me so i can click so i can click on the so I can click on the app service and that is a URL so if I click on the URL it will take me straight to that website so and right now it tells me that the app service is all running but of course we don't have any code sitting in here so in the next video we are going to add some code something into this one if this video was helpful please let me know in the comments below and hit subscribe if you found this video helpful thank you